Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be a quick review of the Pulsar X2 Bruce Lee edition. I don't know what Bruce Lee knows about gaming mice, but he got himself a collab with Pulsar. In terms of the weight, the shape, most of the internals, it is the exact same as the previous X2s, but there are some key differences. Um, first of which, if you know anything about this mouse, is that it's using optical switches. They're rated for 90 million clicks and come out of the same factory as Razer's optical switches. They don't have quite an identical feeling, but that could just be to the shells being different. Um, but yeah, here's a quick sound test. They do sort of have that hollow optical sound where it doesn't sound as like crisp and firm as a standard mechanical switch. But in terms of the actual feeling, it is a very light click. The shell design doesn't allow for a lot of post travel, as you can see minimal pre-travel there is a bit of side to side wobble actually like a pretty significant amount on the left click but there's no type of grinding or creaking that makes it bad and i would say this is up there with the viper v2 pro in terms of like best feeling optical click implementation and since these are optical switches there's obviously not going to be any problems with double clicking i generally just don't have double clicking problems on any mice but i have seen people um complain that the kill 8.0s on the standard x2s double click so that if that's a concern that obviously will not happen with the Bruce Lee edition. I would like to see Pulsar go back and update their older models with the optical switches, but if you would like to try them out now, um, the Bruce Lee edition is the only way. There is also the Boardsy Zebra edition coming out with Juano Blue Shell Pink Dot switches. Um, obviously, this is a higher profile collab, so it's going to come out a bit later than the Bruce Lee edition. But yeah, man, the clicks are very nice in general, very light, fast rebound, the quality feels solid on them, it's not like the most exceptional click I've ever felt, but if you're just looking for good, consistent, spammable optical switches, I don't have any squeak issue, the biggest issue I have with them is this grinding, and that has not caused a problem in game but yeah the second difference and really the only other difference as far as i know with this mouse is the coating um, if you remember my early reviews of the x2 they just have this kind of slippery very plasticky feeling coating and i was like it could just be a bit more premium i'm honestly very happy that for the new collab editions they have put on a more rubberized feeling coating i would say it best compares to the g pro super light but especially after you've used a super light for a while it kind of has like a wet rubbery feeling and it's not a bad thing but like there is definitely some like moistness to the coating of the super light and these are just a bit drier but I would say they give you about 90% as much grip so it's really fucking good you don't need grip tape at all in my opinion and I don't know if this is just me being a snob because I've used so many mice but a coating can really make or break a mouse like if a mouse has a nice grippy consistent feeling in your hand it's just going to feel so much nicer long term than something like slippery cheap and plasticky feeling so i'm really happy that pulsar updated the coatings once again i would like to see them do that to the standard models but i can confirm that both the borzi and the bruce lee edition do have updated coatings and switches so yeah i'm not really going to go into detail about how i felt the bruce lee edition performed compared to the previous models there was not any discernible difference in terms of click latency at least that i could experience um, this model does come with super glides in the box and it is $120. I would presume the licensing does contribute to that and they just like threw in the super glides. So that's pretty dope. As you guys know, not really a massive advocate of class skates anymore. I just threw them on to see how they would perform. The first few days I had them on, it was like the initial friction is just so low. You leave the mouse standing still and the cursor is moving on windows. I can barely double tap on an icon. So that was nice. And then they broke in and now they just feel like super smooth glass skates um so that is some nice value in the box they also throw in an extra set of ptfe skates and there is just a lot of bruce lee themed stuff which is what you should expect when you're buying a bruce lee um, themed mouse there is this trading card it's like one out of three thousand you get multiple stickers the uh, instructions and like the manual is even like bruce lee themed it's honestly insane so if you are a bruce lee fan i don't know how many of those there are out there um, especially in this modern generation um, it's a pretty sick collab if you're just looking for an improved x2 with a better coating and optical switches it's pretty dope i do like the yellow and black colorway personally i feel like this is the like the pittsburgh steelers edition but if you see bruce lee God bless. Yeah, I just realized I kind of glanced over the general quality of the unit because I have nothing to note. In terms of side flexing, there's really nothing, no creaking. 
bottom flexing is not an issue, but I don't have any apparent bottom flexing either. Obviously no rattling, scroll wheel feels fine, side buttons feel fine. Um, so really impressed with the quality of the unit all around and the click implementation seems nice. This drop is limited to 3000 units and mine is numbered. So um, take that for what it's worth. And the Boardsy edition is also going to be 3000 units. I do feel like that is worth mentioning. Um, I don't know if people really care, but the click implementation on this mouse, um, the Juanos, I just feel like they feel very close to a Zowie mouse's click. But yeah, that's gonna be all. I will save a full review of the Zebra edition for another video, but I just figured why not show that off when I'm talking about another X2 collab. But that's gonna be all. Like I said, it is $120 for the Bruce Lee edition, so it is a bit more expensive than the standard models, but it does come with super glides. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in checking it out, I'll throw a link in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe. If you enjoyed, you know the deal. Um, peace.